start, but it's good to see everybody and it's good to be back. You know that we rolled a new game and that game is Fable Anniversary Edition. I think this is going to be a really fun and funny experience for all of us involved. Oh, here we go. Heading off to Oakvale. Classic. Oh man, I am like brimming Deep with nostalgia in the forest right of now. Albion, lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family. It's so a boy good. Dreaming of greatness. I hope this uh, edition of it holds up. A hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Is it? You know, I think I've even considered that before, but Come the on, art style of it is even kind of fable-ish. I don't know. That'd be... Just that's worth like a Google. Enough. That's I'm worth a Google. Always wondering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? Um. She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. It looks pretty Remember, good. You haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Oh, well, there it is. Those dead like eyes. Time, <laughs> what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay. Hi, little girl. Wow, this looks really crazy. good compared to uh, what it looked like on Xbox. And I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Oh, Please you poor help. thing. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. Okay. Furry little bear. And if I remember correctly, if we go back here, we can see a couple canoodling. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Oh, you've never met her. Is that why you were kissing her whole face and fondling her whole body? You dog. Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? Oh, man, we get to just like so many decisions to make. My wife's at home with our little ones and I'm supposed to be working. <laughs> but a man should be entitled to do what he likes. Don't tell you what. If you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Oh. All these beginning decisions are inconsequential. Good lad. My Look after so yourself. we're going to get Forget as much money else. as we can. Starting off right with a bad deed. We're just going to be devious, man. We're just going to be devious little little dogs. Go and tell his wife. Honestly, where's that filth? With some, I run his house, bring up his children, <laughs> and what do I get in return? Nothing. Yeah, you need a real man, honey. If you find him, let me know, won't you? You yep. have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into balverine food. Healthy swine! I ought to chop them right off. Don't Good. insult me anymore! My mother was off. right about you! Oh, we were rehearsing a play. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your strumpet, you've got another thing coming! Oh, man. Please, my dear, I can explain everything. Who is she, anyway? Some time. It's probably it's really item. mean in British. Bed. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Now that's a mustache. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. No, I have not, sir. Would you be so it kind as to so give me one? That I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Three gold pieces? What do you need two gold pieces for? 
Ah, I would like to. Remember, your father will give you money. Okay, good deeds. <laughs> right, got you, you little ruffian. What I do? I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. I did do a bad deed. Accessory to improper men and lady behavior. <laughs> That sort of behavior is not acceptable. I'm giddy. This is awesome. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. Oh, would I? For taking money from a guy cheating and then turning him in? Turning him in? You need to decide if I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. Right away, sir. I'll think right about it. Oh, oh thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just sure. stand between those two stacks and don't move. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Atta boy. Right. Yeah, you put in that good word. Won't be long. I think we just literally stand here for a minute. Oh, don't move. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Might have stuff in him. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Listen here, you little shit. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. <laughs> Come on, let's go and break stuff. Listen here, you Did little shit. Stand there like a lemon. You're still, yeah, you're, you're, you're still shitting so in your boring. own pants. You ain't Would shit, you kid. To I'll be kick you. Things? You hear him talking shit? Come on, there's still time before he gets back. Kids these days. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. Anytime, buddy. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. Mm hmm. Sweet. Huh. You could have. Oh, I could have smashed him while I was. Yeah. Oh, wait. Can we kick the chicken? Yeah. Chicken kicker. Beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. What about him? What emanates strong? Yeah, get out of here, boy. Yeah, suck I'm it. Sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. We don't tolerate Thank bullying you. around here. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here. I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Full circle, boys. We got Rosie back. Bye. Go find a little girl and find a little girl and uh, give her her teddy bear back. I got your bear. <gasps> you found Rosie. She's just so Thank sweet. Thank you so much. So what have you been up to, Revo? How's it going, buddy? Rosie, let's change your stuffing. Mm. I'm a man of my word, so here's the gold for your good I think deeds. I'm about to get a scolding from Dad. But if you think that I'll turn a blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Well, I think you might... All right. Ooh, you're lucky. Quickly, give me three... Other than that... I've been trying to put a little extra work into the channel. Young sir. Looking pretty good, honestly. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is. Lucky How could I last... forget my sister's birthday? I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened. But I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. Of course I'll give her the chocolates. You going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. Oh, will she? I hope nothing happens on our way back. Wait, there's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> Oh, damn. What's really happening? They're here. You've got to hide. <laughs> uh 
Oh, damn. Got one. <laughs> Was entirely so the shorts and the uh, and like Evil videos and stuff like that. Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon oh, their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. Why are they looking for me? The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior. He fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. Oh no! Not me, mum and sister. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. I don't think they bothered changing the resolution of the cuts of those, like, paintings. Man, I sure hope my dad's okay. This is a pretty brutal scene. Hey, no, no. Papa. Yeah, he gone. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're no. all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Sure, random dude. 